My name is Captain 37, and in this presentation, I'm going to take you through this paper. Question number 10. Two men went hunting. The first man killed three birds while the second man just killed two. How many beaks did they have all together? The beak is the mouth of a bird. One of them killed three birds, then the other one killed two. How many beaks were there all together? Three plus two is five. Do we have five on the answer list? Yes. The answer is C. Question number 11. Bedroom is to sleep as kitchen is to? What do we do in the bedroom? We sleep. Then what do we do in the kitchen? Do we cook? Do we eat? Do we sit or we wash? In the kitchen, we cook. And therefore, the answer is A. Question number 13. A box always has A. What does a box always have? A box always have, always has A, books. B, chalk, C, litter, D, shape. It's not true that there are always box in a box. It is also not true that there's always chalk in a box. It is also not true that there is always litter or rubbish in a box. But it is true always that a box has a shape. Therefore, the answer is C. D. The answer is D. Question number 13. Davis likes sweets. Margaret and Just Justine. How do, you, how do you... This is Justin. Margaret and Justin both like sweets. But do not like popcorns. Kelvin and Davis both like popcorns. Who likes both sweets and popcorns? Remember, we answered a question that was similar to this one about Lisa, John, Luke taking part in horse riding, jumping castle, and basketball. The same approach is the one that we're going to have here. So what we're going to do, we'll write down the names of the people that are in this particular scenario. There's Davis. Did I say David at first? I meant to say Davis. There's Davis. Then there's Margaret. Margaret, then there's Justin. Is there anyone else? Yes, there's Kelvin and Davis. But we won't write Davis because we've already written Davis here. So no need to write Davis twice. So what, what is it that they like? There's sweets. Okay, let me just change color. There's sweets. Then there's popcorns. Popcorn, this is, I'll just write it in short. So the sweets, uh, sweets, we have sweets there, then there's popcorns, okay? So what is it that we're doing? We, we are going to tick which one, which one uh, applies. So uh, Davis likes sweets. So Davis likes sweets. We'll do that. We'll put, we'll just tick there. Margaret and Justin both like sweets. Margaret likes sweets and Justin likes sweets. But do not like Popcorn. Okay, so they, they do not like popcorn. Kelvin and Davis both like popcorns. Davis likes popcorns and Kelvin likes popcorns. Who likes both sweets and popcorns? So we're going to look at these particular names and identify which one has ticks under each particular thing that they like. Whether they like popcorns and or sweets. And we can see that Davis, in this particular case, he likes sweets and he likes popcorns. So the answer then to this particular question is A, Davis. 
Question number 14. Lead is to 1, 2, 3, 4 as deal is to... How you attend to this one is you get the letters A, L, E, A, D. Each one of these, this one stands for 1, this one stands for 2, this one stands for 3, and this one stands for 4. Then we get the letters D, E, A, L, which is deal. And then we are going to, to put the letters according to how the letters are here. D is letter 4 or number 4. D is number 4. A, 3. So when we get to this one, D is 4. E is 2. A is 3. And L is 1. The answer to this particular question is 4, 2, 3, 1. And we look for it on our answer list. 4, 2, 3, 1. Is there 4, 2, 3, 1? Yes. The answer is D. Question number 15. If comes means 4, 3, 2, 1, 8, then sum means... This one is going to be approached the same way as we approached question number 14. It is the same. There are letters C, O, M, E, S, comes. C is number 4. O is number 3. M is number 2. E is number 1. And S is number 8. That's the way it is. Now... What if it's S O M E? We know that the letter S is number 8. And the letter O is number 3. And the letter M is number 2. And the letter E is number 1. The answer, therefore, to this particular question is 8, 3, 2, 1. Do we have this on the list? 8321, yes. The answer therefore is D. Question number 16. If the letters DIP, D I P, were taken out of the word dispense, what word would be left? So we take away D I P, we take away D. We take away I and we take away P. We are going to remain with S, E, N, S, E. We're going to remain with the word sense. Do we have it here on our list? The answer is yes. The answer is C. Question number 17. What is the sixth letter? In the alphabet. Hmm. So remember again, don't feel shy if you have to, uh, if you have to sing the song in your heart, because you're not going to sing loud in class. A, B, C, D. The, the, the teacher will tell you you're disturbing your friends. So we are looking for the sixth letter in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. What what comes next? I have forgotten, but we don't have to go that far because we only want the sixth one. Okay, so we know that A is one. This one is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The sixth one is this one here. That's what we're looking for. And so the answer is C. Question number 18. Which letters must be put in the box to complete the series? Hmm. I do not know the answer to this question. And therefore, I'm going to make sure I highlight it so that I know I circle it so that I know that I haven't answered it and I'll get back to it. Listen, when you do not know the answer to a question, move on to another question. 
but make sure that you go back to that particular question that you did not know at that particular time. Don't guess. Try as much as possible not to guess. Question number 19. Ruth and Agatha are tall. Tracy and Rachel are fair. Ruth and Rachel are beautiful. Who is both tall and beautiful? Do you remember we had a question like this where we have to take note of the names? There's Ruth. There is Agatha. There is Tracy. And there is Rachel. Like that. Okay, so we're talking about one or all of them being tall, fair. To be fair is to be light-skinned. So there's tall, there's fair, and there's beautiful. Beautiful there, like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have to tick accordingly. So Ruth and Agatha are tall. So Ruth, tall. Agatha, tall. Tracy and Rachel are fair. Tracy, fair. Rachel, Rachel. Tracy and Rachel are fair. Then Ruth and Rachel are beautiful. So Ruth, beautiful. And Rachel, beautiful. The question is, who is both tall and beautiful? Ruth is tall and beautiful. The answer to this question is C. Question number 20. Three of the following are alike in some way. Which one is different? There is cute, there is awful, there is pretty, there is beautiful. Beautiful, pretty, cute are similar. They are alike. Well, it's awful. Ugh. Awful is different. And therefore, the answer to this question is B. Question number 